Big developments in one of the most high-profile murders our community has seen in a decade and a half. David Temple granted a new trial. His lawyers saying they hope to have him out of prison by Christmas. This murder case shocked the entire community. A Katy school teacher killed. Her husband, a high school football coach, convicted. This was a case that has taken several turns. The timeline goes back to 1999. That's when Belinda Temple, who was pregnant, was shot and killed. Fast forward to 2007, when David Temple was convicted. And then last year, a Beaumont judge ruled that Temple deserved a new trial because of prosecutorial misconduct. And today, an appeals court upheld that ruling. Phil Archer joining us live in Katy tonight, where David Temple's family just spoke about this. Phil? Bill, the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals ruled that Temple didn't get a fair trial because prosecutors withheld important evidence. So now Temple could be released on bond. The court order this morning raising hopes within David Temple's family that he could be home for Christmas. We will not stop until we see Belinda's real murder in prison, until all of those that participated in this miscarriage of justice are held accountable for their actions. For most of the last decade, Temple has celebrated the holidays behind bars. He was convicted of murdering his wife, Belinda, a teacher at Katy High School who was killed by a shotgun blast at their home in 1999. She was eight months pregnant with their second child. At the time, David Temple was having an affair with another teacher at A. Leaf Hastings High School where he coached football. In 2007, he was sentenced to life in prison, but the appeals court threw that out today. They said that the method of disclosure of evidence and offense reports violated the basic concepts of due process. The court found important evidence was withheld from Temple's lawyer during his trial by prosecutor Kelly Siegler. Temple was an early suspect in the case, but so was a teenage neighbor who allegedly admitted he'd burglarized the Temple's home. During the trial, Temple's lawyer Dick DeGuerin tried to convince the jury that the teenager was the real killer. But DeGuerin was hampered, according to the appeals court, because prosecutors failed to turn over hundreds of pages of police reports to him. You are not entitled under the Constitution to a perfect trial, but you are darn sure entitled to one that's fair. For Belinda Temple's family, the court ruling means reliving her death. Victim advocate Andy Kahn talked with her father, Tom Lucas, this morning at his home in East Texas. It, it, it's a tough blow, as you can well imagine. It took over almost six years to even go to trial on this. And then even after the trial, it was just never ending and it never ending. And they never got, you know, it was one thing after another for them. The DA can retry, dismiss the case or uh, appeal it. No comment today from the district attorney's office, and we were unable to reach Kelly Siegler for comment. Reporting live in Katy, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.